the Indonesian province of Bali, also known as the Island of the Gods to its residents, is located in the southern Java Sea, and its 350 miles of coastline is known mostly for its sandy beaches and bustling nightlife. But for some who are willing to drive 50 miles inland on winding roads through the dense jungle, they'll arrive at a completely different world and experience a native Balinese town called Ubud. Ubud is considered in many ways to be Bali's cultural heart. Located in the cool mountains, this traditional country town is known for its quaint craft shops where you can get some amazing deals. The town was originally known as a source of therapeutic herbs. Ubud gets its name from the Balinese word ubat, which means medicine. It's also known as a mystical and haunted place, full of ghosts and unexplained healing powers. And if you explore just a little further outside of the town, past the rice paddies and tiny villages, you will find in a small hidden valley, a secluded resort, the Hanging Gardens of Bali, that contains something completely unexpected. A swimming pool with a view where you can see not only this world, but possibly into the next as well. The view from the Infinity Edge pool looks down on a dense green rainforest full of coconut, tamarind, and banyan trees. And from your perch in the warm pool, you'll likely see some of the area's 1,000 species of birds, multiple types of lizards, and if you're lucky, you might even spot a Balinese long-tailed monkey. But the most amazing thing that you can see as you look across the valley is a crumbling Hindu temple that's been sitting on a hilltop since the 8th century. Swimming that pool is heaven. It's crazy. There's, there's nothing like it. You can create that anywhere else. You're enwrapped by a tsunami of green. You almost feel like you're flying over the valley. You sometimes feel you can leap off the edge of the pool, fly up to the temple. I wouldn't try it, but <laughs> that's the feeling. The finished pool is 5.5 feet deep and has a 250-foot vanishing edge. The entire cascading structure under and over the pool is equivalent to an eight-story building and holds 44,000 gallons of water. Somebody asked, where's the most impossible place to build something? They found this place and built it. It was impossible, <laughs> but they did it. The Dalam Sagara Temple was built by a local ruler, and it has been the mystical and spiritual focal point for the community for 1,200 years. The obstacles to building a resort and pool in this remote location were hard to overcome. The hill that they wanted to build on was at a 45 degree angle from its base, and there was no way to get any equipment or materials to the site as the roads were too narrow. Many would have walked away, but not developer Nir Peretz. He had a vision and had made up his mind. It had to be here. Developer Nir Peretz imagined a pool deep in the Balinese jungle with a view unlike anything else in the world. Okay, let's go. Gary Rosen is the general manager of Hanging Gardens. Nir Peretz is a man that sees something, envisions it in his mind, and builds it. A visionary. And at the center of the property, Nir wanted to capture the feeling that guests were floating above the rainforest like spirits. So he imagined a dual-level pool, which would be a visual and spiritual focal point for the property. So in order to accomplish it, they had to think outside the box, which meant doing it the old-fashioned way. Everything was brought, was brought by hand. Hundreds of people carrying on their backs everything that was needed, all the way down and all the way up. It was biblical. The main pool was constructed using 6,500 square feet of specialty stone made of compressed ash from a nearby volcano. The whole process took years to complete, and the pool, the rooms, and the detailed landscaping literally hang off the steep hillside. So they called the place the Hanging Gardens of Bali. Between the pool, the jungle, and the temple, 
visitors are swept away with a spiritual experience and enlightening view. When you're swimming in the pool, it feels like you are not in this world. It's like in other world. It's a great experience. You're in an oasis there. Everyone needs to come here. And the pool was not the only impossible thing they accomplished. The hillside it sits on is so steep that they had to use some jungle ingenuity for their elevator. As you can see, we're going deeper and deeper into the jungle. In order to move up or down, you have to use one of two cable cars to carry you between the resort and the pool. When you get tired of walking the manicured grounds and lazing in the pool and want just a little alone time, you can retreat to your private villa, where you may decide to go swimming again, wearing less modest attire, if you know what I mean. Because one of the features that has made Hanging Gardens the first seven-star rated boutique hotel ever is that each of the resort's rooms has a miniature version of its iconic pool set aside just for you. Today, what was once only a steep hillside with spirits and monkeys as guests is now a lavish wellness and spiritual resort where you can take yoga classes by the river, get your zen on with monk Tahak Oka, and float above the rainforest in a pool while viewing a 1,200-year-old temple. Hanging Gardens of Bali is so unique that it's received more than 20 international destination awards, and travel magazines have named its pool the world's best. And as far as the spirit's opinion, well, they haven't said anything yet.